Alright, what's up guys, Peter Jaguars here again, and we are starting a new series here today, Peter Jaguars Pick'em. We have every single NFL matchup lined up for week one, got these helmets ready, gonna be making our picks, let's hop into it. So to kick off the NFL season, we had the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the New England Patriots at Gillette Stadium, and the Patriots did come out victorious 28-21. As you guys can see, we put out a tweet. I knew I was going to be making this video, but wanted to get that first pick in. We had the Patriots. We're correct with that one. Sorry to the Steelers, but you guys are out. Now let's get popping with Sunday's picks. We've got the Colts taking on the Bills, Indy on the road, but it's really hard to be picking against Andrew Luck. He's got T.Y. Hilton, Andre Johnson, Dwayne Allen at his disposal, and that offense is going to be looking real good this year. Don't think Stephon Gilmore and the Bills secondary will be able to contain them, so Bills are losing this one. The Browns head to New York to take on the Jets in the third matchup of Week 1. Another one of those early kickoffs. We are going to be going with the Jets here. Sorry, Browns fans, but I'm really not buying into Josh McCown. Maybe Manziel will come in later in the year. And the Jets don't have a great quarterback situation either. But playing at home, big crowd, got to give them the edge. We really don't know how long RG3's absence is going to be, but Kirk Cousins is looking like the starter for Week 1 for Washington as they take on Miami. I actually think the Dolphins are going to be very good this year, potentially even competing for the AFC East title. Of course, the Patriots are very strong, and that is going to be a decent division. But I'm really sold on Tannehill. The Ndamukong Sioux signing was quite expensive, but should prove to be helpful. And Kenny Stills is going to give them a nice deep threat. With Mike Wallace gone, so Redskins are out right now. We'll see how Miami can perform. Kansas City-Houston is another one of those kind of toss-up matchups. Very hard to predict. We really don't know how good these teams are going to be in 2015. And maybe the Texans are a little bit distracted with hard knocks and all that stuff going on in camp. But they still have J.J. Watt, Jadavian Clowney, and a monster pass rush with that. I do think they're going to be able to pressure Alex Smith, who may have Jeremy Macklin at his disposal, but still is going to be running for his life, and we're going to take the AFC South rival Texans. In a battle containing my Jaguars and the fellow 1995 expansion Panthers, it's going to be a rough one with the Cats fighting it out, and I really hate to say this, but even though we're at home, I do think the Panthers are going to win this one, and sadly, I put this one to the side. Not a toss, not a throw, but Cam Newton, Co. no Calvin Benjamin, but the Panthers are looking all right. Yeah, yeah, it sucks to be picking against your team, but sometimes you got to do it. Trying to get as many games as right possible with this Pick'em series, and next we've got a divisional one, Packers at the Bears, and just looking at these teams on paper, do we really think the Bears have any chance in this game? Yes, wacky things can happen, maybe they can win, but I'm definitely giving the edge to Green Bay. Rodgers should be able to grab the dub. The NFC West is looking very competitive this year, and we've got one of those good early matchups, Seahawks-Rams. And if you guys remember last year, the Rams actually beat the Seahawks one of those times, winning off a fake punt in the fourth quarter, some pretty crazy stuff. But I think Seattle's going to be very angry after the Super Bowl. Should be coming out strong. Pete Carroll still has a plan in place. And while the Rams do have some new stuff, Nick Foles and all, Seahawks should take them down. Next, on to the later afternoon startups, it is Lions Chargers. This is a very challenging one to be edging either way. I'm leaning Chargers, and I think that is going to be my pick, but the Lions should have a pretty good running game this year. Theo Riddick, Joyke Bell, Amir Abdullah. Abdullah was looking really solid in the preseason, so maybe he'll put him some work. I'm not super confident in this one, but we are going with San Diego. Saints at Cardinals is another interesting NFC matchup. Thank God we don't have to sit through any more of Ryan Lindley because that was painful in the playoffs last year. But anyhow, Cardinals defense is back, healthy, same with Palmer. And of course, you know Drew Brees is going to make some bum receiver you've never heard of look like he's a star. So it's going to be challenging to stop that offense. And we are going to go with the Saints with a little upset, I think, right here. I believe the Cardinals are favored. And maybe Brees will be able to lead who that? Six more matchups to go, and now we've got the rookie quarterback battle. Worst two teams in the league last year, but Marcus Mariota taking on Jameis Winston. And I can't be having all these other AFC South teams win, but I have my Jags lose. So guess what, Ty? You're out of here just freaking by default. Okay, good luck, Bucks. Hopefully Gerald McCoy and Levante David will put together something. 
So now we've got an aging quarterback with a noodle arm, Mr. Pete Manning, taking against one of the guys with the biggest arms in the league, Joe Flacco. But I do think Manning is going to be all right. Can't feel his fingertips, so what? It is what it is. And I am liking Jimmy Smith a lot this year, who may be able to contain Demarius, of course, Julius Thomas. Now with Jacksonville, the Broncos are at home for week one and should be able to get some playoff revenge. Figuring the public is going to be leaning on Cincinnati as they take on Oakland right here, but I was pretty impressed with Derek Carr last season from what I saw. They made some good picks in the draft, Amari Cooper, Mario Edwards, Clive Wolford, and with those playmakers, I think they can do a pretty nice job putting up some points, and this should be a little upset as Oakland could be getting an early win. Our first Sunday night football game is very highly documented, Giants-Cowboys. And I hope you guys had a solid look at Joseph Randall when you were taking your fantasy teams because I know I got him in my main league expecting a big year from this guy. And the Cowboys offense is pretty electric. That O-line is nice. Romo is great. That should be attracting double teams. And while that Odell and Victor Cruz combo for the Giants will be looking pretty good, Orlando, Scandrick, and Co. are a decent secondary to be taking them on. So we will go with Dallas. Birds are going to be flying high in this first Monday night matchup. And Chip Kelly is basically either a genius or an idiot. It's going to take some time to figure that out. I did like the LaShawn McCoy, Kiko Alonso trade. Running backs overvalued. And they were able to bring in DeMarco Murray anyhow. So that is pretty good. Falcons obviously decent. And maybe Julio Jones will be able to air out some of these Eagles guys. But we are going to lean with them, see what schemes they got popping, and at least give Chip a chance right now. And now, for the final game of the week, I am genuinely sorry for you. If you're a 49ers fan, I feel like that whole team retired, left, or something in this offseason, totally got demolished, and really, I don't even know who's still there. Sure, Colin Kaepernick, maybe Vernon Davis will put together a good season, the man who is inconsistent year to year, which is really wacky, but we are going to go with Minnesota. Take Teddy Bridgewater in this final week, and he is going to be the victor of the last game. So there it is, 16 games, 16 winners. Please don't criticize me too hard if I picked against your team. I did the same for my own. We're trying to get as many games right as possible right here. Here's one last look at our predicted winners for the week, and that is going to be it for the video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more vids. Gronk was able to score three TDs and spike it a bunch of times on Thursday, so spike that like button right now. Subscribe for tons more NFL and Madden 16 content. Tons of stuff coming up. But anyway, guys, I'm out. Peace.